everyone! So this video is going to be me coloring this picture and I'm just going to tell you the story behind how I got this idea. I was actually just sketching one day, drawing, you know, practicing my profiles and I drew the head shape and I really liked it. Profiles have always been a struggle for me, just drawing the side of the head um, the face and even just the back of the head and so I really liked this head shape and I know that sounds funny but so I just thought hey it looks great without hair so why put hair on her so um, then that led me to the idea to make this a picture um, you know for breast cancer awareness her head says beautiful and strong like a little tattoo on the side and so these flowers here represent the beautiful part and these back here were originally just supposed to be big sh big trees, um, and I might leave them as trees, but I also might make them mountains. I'm not totally sure yet, but those represent strength. So um, I actually got that idea when I showed the picture to somebody, and they thought that's what I meant, so I just adopted that idea myself. And so that is what the entire picture represents. So I'm going to be using my Copic markers and coloring this for you for this video. Also, I just wanted to mention one, mention one thing for those of you who may not know, although I'm sure most of you do. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So that is another reason for why I am doing this type of a drawing. First, I used my kneaded eraser to get rid of as much of the pencil as I could without completely taking away the lines because I do not want any of that to be mixed in with the Copic marker because as soon as I put marker on, then I can't erase the pencil. Um, so then I started out with my skin tones and this tone that I'm using is, well the darkest tone I used was E13, then I went a little bit lighter and used E11. And then right now um, I used E00 and E000 and that might not mean much to a lot of you but those who use Copic markers um, that's what I usually use for skin plus a little bit of pink. So for the pink I usually say R20 or um, something like that. So I did that and then I outlined the beautiful and strong using a Copic multiliner. And then I started on the background. Maybe I'm, I was thinking, you know, to myself how I could have made the picture better. And I thought maybe doing the background first would have helped. But I think doing it this way is fine as well. Everything worked out. And if I got onto the foreground a little bit with the marker, then I was just able to use white gel pen to cover it up. I tried to incorporate a lot of pink into this drawing, but not make it overwhelming. So I used pink on the flowers and um, the ribbon that is around her shoulder kind of represents the symbol for breast cancer. Um, but I actually did place the symbol in the tattoo on the side of her head. And the reason why I put in so much pink is because, as you know, pink is um, you know, kind of associated with breast cancer awareness. Um, in the trees, for the background, I used green, but then I also used a pinkish reddish color because that is the opposite of green. And if you study color theory, you'll know that using the opposite of a color on the color reel is a good way to shadow it and kind of cancel out the color so it becomes really dark. So enough about the drawing. I don't really have many people in my life that are close to me that have been affected by breast cancer, but just this past year, actually um, I'm not sure when it was diagnosed, but um, an administrator at my school was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she is one of the sweetest ladies you'll ever meet. She is always smiling, and she's always very friendly, and having this breast cancer has not changed a thing. I mean, she has her head shaved, of course, and she wears scarves around school a lot on her head, but she is also not afraid to take it off and just go without hair, and she's very confident in that fact. And I definitely look up to her and really, really admire that strength and beauty and happiness that she has going through this struggle. And I admire everyone 
who has to go through breast cancer or something like that because they are so strong and those who don't go through illnesses like this, like me, will never really know what it is like unless it happens to us. And I just can't even imagine what people like this go through. And to think that she still has a smile on her face and is the same person, very friendly, you know, to everybody that she meets, um, it's just amazing. And one of the big reasons for that, I believe, is that she is a Christian as well, and um, she has Jesus in her life, and he kind of gives her peace throughout this whole ordeal and gives her joy. And so I just wanted to mention that and um, give encouragement to anybody who is also experiencing breast cancer. It's a terrible, terrible disease, but um, Jesus, you know, he's got you. And I know a lot of times it may not seem like it because we go through these awful things in our life and it's like, well, where are you, God? I thought you said you were going to be there for me, but he will walk with you and keep you strong and um, just rely on him and he will always be there for you. So that's all I wanted to say in this video and I hope you liked the drawing. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to give it a like if you did enjoy the video and leave a comment below. And also, stay safe through Hurricane Matthew because that is on its way. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye!